Hey YouTubers, Brian Williams here. I'm out here on a gold mining claim out in Arizona, and um, I've detected a target with this Mine Lab metal detector. So right here is where I'm picking up the signal. You guys can hear that. I'm trying to get it close to the audio so you guys can hear. Um, but anyway, got this target. And i um, going to dig this out. I just went down and got the shovel and all that stuff. But uh, the history behind these mountains are that the Spanish came through in the 1500s. You know, the Native Americans found gold here. They knew there was gold here. The Spanish came through 1500s, found gold. Then in the 1850s, around that time frame, um, there was a lot of people out here. You can see... There's still currently mining operations, you know, going on. Let me get you guys a better view. The issue, obviously, with this hillside, I mean, if you guys can see the, you know, current mining operations are still going on here today. Um, but one of the issues, obviously, with this hillside is that there is gold here. Um, you know, without a doubt, and uh, there's mine shafts all over the place out here in this mountain range. Uh, but it was, you know, really hard to get these rocks down, obviously. Um, so by the time, let's say if you were to try to do a, you know, a modern mine here, by the time you try to get these rocks down, it would be too cost prohibitive. It wouldn't make any sense. So, um, you know, you can do the nugget hunting out here and um, you don't have a lot of water. So, you know, it's hard to, you know, people will bring out dry washes and, you know, put put a lot of water or, um, you know, they'll, do, they'll use the dry wash and then they'll um, pan out their concentrate later or whatever. So anyway, I've got a friend. He's got several gold mining claims out here that are actually really good gold mining claims. And um, so he's letting me come out here. This is his metal detector and, and whatnot. So um, they're in the mining industry. You know, they've been profitable mining and everything and so I'm just you know kind of taking my just kind of seeing what happens out here um, but you know the the thing to realize you know that can be frustrating even even up in this spot that it looks like you know nobody's really up here nobody's really working this area um, there used to be like 3,000 people that that lived whatever in camps down there when the Great Depression hit I mean people didn't have anything else to do so they just, you know, they came out here and, you know, it's it's just literally if they could make 50 cents a day or anything was better than nothing, I guess. And so, you know, they were out here like ants all over these hills. Now, the obviously the advantage I have, and I've tried other metal detectors. I actually brought out one of my other friend's dad's metal detector that was a bounty hunter metal detector. You know, it probably cost seven or eight hundred bucks. Um, it wasn't worth anything out here. It was just erratic. It really wasn't picking stuff up correctly. This um, this mine lab is, I guess, one of the only ones that really works out here. There's there's a lot of different minerals, and you'll be getting a lot of false signals. And there's there's nails and horseshoes and all kinds of other stuff out here. Which I mean, if you pick it up, you pick it up. But if somebody knows more about what they're doing. Um, you know, they can probably hear the frequencies and kind of tell a little better. This is actually my first time using this. So anyway, I'm going to dig this, I'm going to dig this target out and we'll, you know, we'll see what's in there. I dug kind of a deep hole. It was a little bit of a faint signal, but it was actually one of the only signals that I've been getting up here, you know, kind of on this hillside and everything. Um, but here's what I came up with. It was the button, you know, to a pair of jeans and it's all rusted out and everything. So who knows when it was from um, a little disappointed but anyway I'll keep going I mean I try to go up a little higher and um, see what I find up there so anyway stay tuned <laughs> 